guys, Obama, Oprah, uh, Dwayne The Rock, these are guys who are my friends. And how are we friends? Exposure. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is your Monday 707, another amazing week and Kamakawaida, an opportunity for you to move to your next level, all right? And if you've been following, we've been talking about a superior mindset. And today we're talking about how you get that superior mindset. And we're talking about the power of exposure. And I want to share this powerful tool with you because it's something that uh, my friend was telling me about. I was talking to the former president Obama, uh, Barack Obama, and he was telling me that when you're exposed to a different arena, it changes your worldview. Now, I know you're wondering, Obama, my friend, yes, I've got serious friends. Obama, Oprah, uh, Dwayne The Rock, these are guys who are my friends. And how are we friends? Exposure, okay? You need three levels of exposure for you to move to where you want to get to. Number one, you need to be exposed to your dream. Number two, you need to be exposed to the people. And number three, you need to be exposed to the cost. Okay, now many times we don't understand that success has got a look, it's got a feel, it's got a behavior, it's got a smell. There is something unique about success. Okay, what it, whatever it is that you're dreaming about, I want you this week to make a conscious effort to be exposed to what it looks like. If you're dreaming about driving a Porsche Cayenne, I'm sure there are yards somewhere near you. Walk, drive or take a matatu, take a, an Uber to the nearest city that has got that Porsche Cayenne that you've always dreamt of. Walk into a yard as if you want to buy. Okay, you actually do want to buy, just not this many. Tell them I want to buy a Porsche Cayenne and walk into that space and test it out. Tell them I want to sit inside. Let me sit inside and see how it feels. Switch on the radio, hold the steering wheel, get a feel about it. Why? Once your mind exposes, uh, expands to be able to feel that Porsche, you will never be comfortable until you get into one. If you've been dreaming about a house, 250 million, make plans and go and go to that estate, go to that leafy suburb and say, talk to an agent, tell them I want to go and see a house. And I'm looking at a place, something in the price range of 200, 250 million. Nobody knows you, nobody knows the money that you have in your pocket. Go let an agent show you two, three different houses. Get to understand how the estate is. Get to understand how the, how, how, how the, the, the size of the room is, the type of floor, because what it does, it expands the horizons of your possibilities. You begin to see it as being possible. There is nothing that is too big that you cannot achieve. That is why most young children, especially in Africa, they always say, I want to be a pilot. Why? We're used to when we were kids looking up and seeing the planes moving around and saying, I want to be in one of those things. The power of sight is the power of exposure. Once you're exposed to something, it is difficult for your mind to contract back. Which brings me to my next point. I want you to be exposed to the people that are in the place that you desire to be in. So here's what you do. Go save up, get about a thousand shillings, 800, a thousand shillings, walk into any five-star hotel in your country, order a bottle of water, one bottle of water, and sit and sip your bottle of water, tell them I'm waiting for somebody. And what I want you to do is I want you to watch. I want you to watch because they'll be rich, they'll be successful people there. I want you to watch how successful people look, how they behave because success is a language, all right? Greatness has got a language. I want you to watch how they dress. I want you to watch what time they wake up if it's early in the morning. I want you to watch which magazines are they reading? Who are they sitting with? How do they speak? How do they sit? What are they eating? All right, so that you can begin to understand some of these things that are concomitant to success and to greatness. Because as you're sitting there, you're going to watch ministers, you're going to watch cabinet secretaries, you're going to watch CEOs, you're going to watch big people. Come 
coming into that hotel and you're going to find they all have similar mannerisms. And if you want to move to your next level, because that's what's going to happen, one day you're going to get an opportunity to sit across this CEO. And when you're coming, whether it's for an interview or for a job pitch or something, when you're coming into that room, I want you to speak the language they speak. I want you to dress the way they dress. I want you to talk like they talk. When they say, would you like a cup of coffee? I want you to order the coffee that they order because it's a language. Greatness is a language. And exposure causes your mind to begin to understand that language. And once you do that, the other thing that you're going to learn is the cost. I want you to be exposed to the cost of greatness. Okay, because when you sit with these people, and you had me saying that Obama is my friend, we were talking with Obama. Why? Because I'm reading his book. And so while I'm asking questions, he's also answering back through his book. I'm reading books by Obama, books by Oprah, books by Steve Jobs. That is the power of exposure to the cost. Because inside these people's books, inside their videos, inside their, their, their podcasts, we get to learn what is it that they had to go through in their life? Which school did they have to go through? What pain did they have to go through? What did their family have to go through? What kind of time, what kind of time frame am I looking at in terms of success? I'm getting exposed to the cost of greatness. And you will never be ready to succeed until you're exposed to the actual cost of greatness. All right? So three things you need to be exposed to. Number one, the place of greatness. Go find that car, find that house, find that hotel. Two, you need to be exposed to the people that sit in the chair that you aspire to sit in. Go find out what is it that they do. Where is it that they go? Watch them, learn from them. And the third thing that you need to do is you need to be exposed to the cost. What is it going to cost for you to get to where you want to go to? Get acquainted with that school, get acquainted with that bill, and when the time comes, you'll find that you're actually ready to move to your next level. This is your Monday 707. Thank you for tuning in. Keep growing, stay inspired. See you next week.